All right, guys, Papa Pepper here up in Wisconsin still with another one of the wild man's wild friends. This is a type of garter snake. Now, across the North America, there's a lot of different species of garter snakes and ribbon snakes. They're all going to pretty much share a few characteristics. Um, they're going to be kind of darker in color, mostly black, and they're going to have some yellow lines down them. These are one of the most common snakes people are going to see. Um, in Wisconsin, about a quarter of the actual species of snakes are going to be some sort of garter snake or ribbon snake. Um, across a lot of North America, from Canada all the way down to Central America, there's different species of these that live. And I remember catching them as kids and uh, still now as adults. They start out just a couple inches and get up to you know, over three feet. So they're pretty cool, pretty common, and you're going to find them just about anywhere. You're going to find them in swamps and forests and fields. Um, I've even found them like downtown in my hometown, down by the bars, just sitting on the sidewalk. Not sure what it was doing there, probably came up from the river. Um, this one was just musking a second ago, which is when they emit a foul odor from their vent and usually some sort of white musky liquid as well. So, uh, what else? Well, these ones are interesting because uh, they used to think they were completely non-venomous, but scientists now believe they do have a slight neurotoxin. It doesn't really affect humans, but can help them paralyze their prey. Um, they're definitely not aggressive. If you try to catch one or go by one, it's going to take off from you. But what they are, I call them defensive, meaning that if you grab one, there's a good chance they're going to try to bite you. Uh, they're not aggressing you, they're trying to defend themselves because you're messing with them. There's a difference there, in my opinion. And then one thing that's interesting about these two, a lot of times people will give you these stories about, oh, there are all these snakes and this big ball and different stuff like that. Uh, a lot of times that doesn't happen with a lot of varieties, but with garter snakes, actually, the female during the mating season will emit uh, you know, a pheromone that will attract males from quite a while, and they'll actually be a giant ball sometimes where you've got you know 20 some males and one female. Um, all in a big wriggling mass. And the same thing happens when they hibernate. A lot of times they'll all go to the same den and there'll be, you know, hundreds or thousands of them even all in the same area hibernating for the winter. Now, garter snakes, uh, they give live birth, so they're not going to be laying eggs, you know. A lot of snakes do lay eggs, but these ones give live birth. And, uh, well, they're one of the common ones, like I said, they're not really going to hurt you. Um, beautiful snake, hard to catch, like when they're out in a the field of tall grass and stuff, they can take off very quick. Like other reptiles, I mean, they're, they're cold-blooded, but they can get pretty well heated up on a, on a hot day, and a lot of times, even during a hot day, they are going to, uh, you know, hide from the sun because they don't want to get too hot. So, this is a type of garter snake, just another one of the wild man's wild friends. Pop out.